Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So in this video, we will talk about Zephyr tool that will integrate with the Jira easily and also you can do test planning and uh, write test cases in it. So we are using uh, this is our, in our company as well and this is very good tool to use uh, for your test case management. So let's start. First of all, uh, in this video, I will discuss about uh, how to install this and then uh, we will talk about a bit about Z Zephyr and then uh, We'll talk about how to create test cases, how to manage test cases, how to organize it, how to create test cycles to run execute test cases and uh, how you can link other Jira issues with this and also we'll talk about uh, how you can generate reports about the execution and a bit about extra like uh, how uh, you can integrate with the automation and uh, uh, then we'll conclude the thing. So I will demo all the things. So. Please watch this video till the end and uh, please subscribe this channel so it will motivate me to create more videos. Thank you. Let's start. So first let's talk about how to install it. So in apps when you go to apps, uh, explore more apps, you can just uh, install it like any other extension you are installing in the browser. Search for Zephyr Spot and uh, if, when you open it, you just need to add. So once you add, it got added here and here you can see like Zephyr Spot is added. So if you are adding into no new project, so just let's uh, go to test project and uh, here I am opening uh, Zephyr Spot. So first time uh, uh, you just need to click here to enable and when you, once you enable it, uh, it shows something like this. And from here you can start uh, adding your test cases and uh, do further action. So it is really easy to integrate and uh, start with uh, Zephyr test. So let's uh, go to this project where I have created few tests already. So here I have uh, added a uh, few test cases so that uh, it won't take more time. So just I will tell you how to create test cases. So first you need to click on new test case. Uh, say uh, test shopping cart. And uh, this is my test case. Objective is uh, uh, I am not getting right now. Objective precondition like uh, you need to log in first and uh, some other precondition sometimes you need to configure something then only you see something like that so you can add this preconfig conditions status you can put uh, by default it will be draft but you can approve or uh, if test cases is deprecated you can add deprecated and uh, yeah that's it uh, so you can add uh, test case and click on create so it got added so once test case is added, uh, you can go to the test script and you can add more things like here steps. So first of all, you can add step like a login. First, uh, login with uh, user one and password. Then uh, you can add uh, XYZ product in the cart. Then uh, verify product. Then you can like uh, like uh, add uh, more quantity of the same product. So you can add uh, test script something like that. Also you can uh, put expected result like it should get login. Verify that quantity gets. TT and uh, price get changed accordingly. So you can add this. Also, you can add some test data like what all tests. Sometimes, sometimes you need more test data. You can add that. Also, you can uh, attach uh, images uh, here or put external links also here. So it will be really easy to navigate. And after that, don't forget to save it so your test case get saved. So this is how you can do the test case. Also you can organize in the folders. For example, you can create like a folder login test and card test. So you can organize it and uh, put, you can put this test into that like for example, right now I have created shopping cart test, right? So here in folder I can search like card test and it will now come under the start test so now if i open only i can see this so this is how you can organize it and also you what you can do is uh, 
while adding test case uh, you in more action you can create test case in the bulk so create test in bulk so here you need to just uh, add like a test uh, product page test ka shopping cart and you can you are putting this default uh, uh, things for all the test cases then create next and confirm done you are now uh, added four test cases and after that also you can go and uh, uh, go back and uh, add your test scripts in the test cases for example here in, in test product page right so here go and you can add test, uh, test script so this is how you can add all the test cases with the bulk also also you can import from the file so when you cl click on import you can use excel or csv or zephyr code file and you can uh, import from that as well but it should be in that format that uh, you need to check and uh, once you have test cases created now it's time to execute right what i need to do is i need to go to test cycle and i need to create test cycle so uh, i have already created one uh, and now I am creating uh, again new one. So let's take a test uh, regression in sprint one. So I am doing the regression in sprint one, and uh, to monitor it, I am creating my test cycle. So I am just putting plan start date, plan end date. Uh, like for example, start date is eight August, and uh, end date is sixteen August, and I am creating it. So now I can see, you can see this empty test cycle is created. You can open it. And once you open it, you need to go to test cycle again. And uh, here you need to add test cases first. So right now you are seeing there is no test cases added. So you can go to back to the test cycle and add the test, uh, test cases. Mm. Here uh, it is not added, so yeah, you just need to open the test cycle. Sorry, I was opening the so here is it is open test cycle in test cases. Now, right now, we have zero test cases, so click on add test cases. And uh, for example, if I want to add login one only, then you can add login test, and if you want to add cart one only, then you can add cart one. So or if uh, I want to add all the test cases, I can add all from here. So I can, I right now I am adding all the test cases. So all the test cases are added here. And uh, you can trace it and uh, uh, you can put comments as well and history also you can check. That we will check after that. So now it is got saved. Now if you go to test player, you can see all the test cases are here and here these are not executed. So in my previous test cycle, I, even though I have executed few test cases, here it shows like I didn't execute it for this regression. So now I am executing it. So for example, username login, uh, I have added test case like use regular username, it is passing. Use username with special character, it is not passing. And uh, test with empty username, it is passing. So this is not passing, right? So here I can actually attach uh, uh, issue like if I have created issue then it's fine if not I can create issue and if I already create I can attach issue or search issue. So I am creating issue like a login is not working when username consists special character. So I am creating bug. This is bug. And I have created. I can attach screenshot and all, and always attach uh, necessary information. But here I am just quickly doing it for you guys. So I have created it, and uh, you can see like it got added here. So wherever uh, we can see that's in report also, and also it will whenever you come back and see why it is failed, uh, someone directly get bug from here itself. So this is very useful. Now I am passing uh, this test case also I have verified for it. It is in progress for example and uh, test password is uh, also in progress and I have verified that and uh, test uh, product page is also in progress and uh, this is not verified. So I have now uh, executed two test cases. Now you go to test cycle you can see like the 40 percent oh we achieve same uh, number of uh, uh, progress so it is now 40 percent also now once you have done this you can go to the report 
and from report you can generate the report so there are plenty types of reports you can generate and directly with one click you can generate that so i am just uh, generating summary report so you can uh, click on summary report date filter all time last test result last all test execution display count day and uh, generate it so it will show like how many test cases are executed today so here you are seeing like overall progress in four and six are remaining but two are passed two has failed so if you click on two which are play so today it shows today only but there are many days you have worked and you are seeing like so many tests you will see why it's showing two because uh, one test has failed in my previous test cycle that i have created and one i failed it uh, while uh, showing it this demo so that's why it's showing two two in progress so it is showing result for both test cycles and you can got overall result here but you can go back and uh, you can try exploring other uh, reports as well so if you want time and effort group by a field so you can try those like time and effort test execution completed over time status test execution completed over time right all test count and uh, here you can apply filter also like test by cycle so test cycle for regression only i want right then i can create or you can create multiple as well so you can add multiple uh, cycles as well and uh, you can have one cycle as well so if you if you are uh, 10 uh, testers are testing something right and you want to see the result of five testers or uh, five features that you are testing with test cycle you can just add those and uh, date filter you can say all time or for your sprint you can select that and you can generate so it shows like uh, today i have this many test cases only i executed one pass one fail so it will show something like that for same like uh, whatever summary report we have generated there also you can uh, add these filters like that so if you want to see uh, regression only you can just uh, check and get you can get the uh, report for regression only so this is how it will work so um, i think we have covered most of the things now one thing is like uh, this test case so tests are also handy with uh, automation like if you are performing automation with selenium or uh, 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 playwright or any other tool you can configure integrate it with jira and you can update tests using automation as well for that i will create new video where we can we will i will show you how to do that so if you have any doubt feel free to ask and also comment out like which current test management tools you are using and uh, also like this video and uh, share it to other QA friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel and join our social media social media links are given in the description thank you